Hi, this is my July book haul. We got a big pile to go through, so let's get started. First of all, I have The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, which I got from HarperCollins. Now, usually I try not to do this, but in this case, I want to read you the back of the book because I think it does a really good job of portraying what it's about. I'll tell you what happened because it will be a good way to introduce my brother. His name's Simon. I think you're going to like him. I really do. But in a couple of pages, he'll be dead. And he was never the same after that. So this book won the Costa uh, Book of the Year Award in 2013. I have heard lots of people talk about it, but I've never really uh, checked it out, so I'm gonna do that. Then two weeks ago I was at YALC, which is the Young Adult Literature Conference, which was in combination with London Film and Comic Con, and I was on a panel about blogging, and one of the people on the panel was Holly Bourne, who has also written some books, so I wanted to read those. It was Soulmates by Holly Bourne, and then the latest book that she's written, which is The Manifesto and How to Be Interesting. This is the one that I actually um, I'm reading at the moment and it is about a girl who kind of feels like her life isn't interesting enough so she decides to start blogging and to make her life as interesting as possible. Of course it has these beautiful orange sides. So cool. And Soulmates is a romantic YA story about, as you might have guessed, soulmates. Then we have two books by Kat Moran, which I got from Ebury. First there is How to Be a Woman, which I've been dying to read. And then there's one that I'm reading at the moment, which is How to Build a Girl, which is Kat Moran's latest novel. I actually got to interview her, so that video will be up soon as well. I've never really read anything like this before, so it's really fun and exciting and a little bit scandalous. It's about basically a girl who decides to reinvent herself as a really cool music journalist sex adventurer. So you'll more about this soon. Then I got something that I've been wanting to buy for forever. I read it when I was younger. Really wanted to reread it and it is Animal Farm by George Orwell. Tiny little book but I really really like this edition. Then I went to Tate Britain and I got talked into buying this book. Monsters, a bestiary of the bazaar and it's just a collection of all these really cool monsters through art and literature and legends. Obviously a gorgeous cover, really cool illustrations on the inside. Then I bought some H.G. Wells. These books had been on my wish list for forever. The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells, Penguin English Library Edition. And The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells, partly inspired by Orphan Black because um, they were talking about this book. And also partly inspired by this book that I got for free at Yelp because they were handing out kind of leftover books. And this is a kind of YA spin-off of The Island of Dr. Moreau, The Mad Men's Daughter, by Megan Shepard. Reading that right now, we'll read that afterwards and see how these two match up. Actually, just got back from holiday, I went to Bakewell and there was this cute little bookshop with wonderful jazz music. So good. And I wanted to support it, so I bought a book and it is A Girl is Half-Formed Thing. And this book won the Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction 2014. The book is about a relationship between a young woman and her brother and kind of what happened between them when he had a brain tumor when he was young. I've been seeing it everywhere recently and got really, really curious. I recently heard that the No Brow graphic novel novel shop in Shoreditch was shutting down and they had a 40% discount. It's really sad that they're gone now, but I decided to go in one last time to buy something and so I bought, oh I have no idea how to pronounce this, Abecedaria by Lex Bolex. I've definitely gone through this before when I was in there. It looks really cool. It's one of those like small zine graphic novels. Super excited. Then I have another graphic novel that was sent to me by the British Red Cross and it was for Refugee Week, which was a while ago. Um, it's called Over, Under, Sideways, Down and it tells the story of a refugee. I haven't read this yet, but we'll do so soon. Then when I was sent my Jane Austen set, I also got sent The Interestings by Meg Wallitzer, which is a novel about six friends. I think it starts out in 1974 when they all like hang out together and have a cool summer and then it kind of goes further into the future to kind of see what they've become in their adult lives. Some of them are doing well, some of them aren't doing that well and I think it just kind of focuses on them as a group together and how they kind of still interact with each other. Then also at Tate Britain I bought another book that I had my eyes on for a while. I think they were publishing this at Penguin when I was interning there and it looked so good and now they have a paperback version. Is The First Bohemians by Vic Getrell. It is non-fiction about London, about obviously the first Bohemians. It has lots of art 
in it. I'm always interested in knowing more about history and art and this is one of those books that I'll probably be reading little snippets off as I go along. And then finally the Blackwell's Bookshop on Charing Cross Road was having a 50% discount. Obviously I could not resist. So I got two books. I got Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. This has been on my list for forever. You guys all know how much I love The Virgin Suicides and obviously I want to read more of his stuff. And then finally I got, uh, also for half price, Virginia Woolf's Between the Acts, which to be honest I know nothing about. Bought it because of this absolutely gorgeous cover. I had like 10 minutes left in the shop and just like randomly grabbed it. Outwardly a novel about life in a country house in whose grounds there's to be a pageant. Between the Acts is also a striking evocation of English experience in the months leading up to the Second World War. Those I think were all the books that I bought in July. Quite a list. I will put all the titles and links to buy them in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you've read any of these books let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later. Doei!